So what is up guys? It is me, the one and only Nistro here. Well, probably not the only, but the one that you know, I hope the best. And uh, yeah, so it's been a while. Um, I've hit 200 subs in this little hiatus I took. So a round of applause for that if you feel like clapping. If not, you know, it's understandable. So I just wanted to make a little update video to you guys um, about how I'm feeling right now. So um, as you can see, it's, it's gonna be Yu-Gi-Oh related, obviously, it's about my feelings on Link Format, but also a little update on myself and how I'm feeling. So uh, pretty much, uh, I just took the week off just cause I was like, you know, I wanted to spend this week testing different strategies and uh, all, different, all this and that. And cause you know, in the mixture of me doing work for, you know, like a summer job, and uh, me not being real stressed more than I ever felt like this year in general. I, I just felt, you know, let me just take this week off. I made a, a kind of funny video on Saturday. So I think, you know, they do won't mind if I just take a little hiatus. And I do have some more videos uh, planned that can um, kind of just continue that little uh, trend of funny or interesting videos so yeah uh my job is very stressful it's it's i do maintenance and the irony is that i've done maintenance for four summers right so this is my fourth summer doing it and this is my third location and this is the smallest place i've ever had to do maintenance at both of the other places i had to do maintenance at were all of them are community centers but like the other two places had two floors you know like they were way bigger than the one that i'm at right now and the one that i'm at right now is actually the most stressful one that i've ever done <laughs> and be it's not even because of the work i'm doing it's just because how the the people there treat me and how they talk to me so condescendingly and it, it it's just so stressful and then make mix that with my first paycheck being like all scrambled up and i have to wait for it and uh, you'll, you might get a picture of why it's been a little bit of a hell for me. And so, yeah, but other than that, it's, um, it, it, it's uh, kind of been fine for me. I mean, I just, again, I just wanted to take a break just cause, you know, I wanted to take a break, but we're, we're, we're back on the Yu-Gi-Oh train now. Um, more update videos uh i did do kind of a lot of like news videos you know what i'm saying like uh videos where i just talked about uh cards that were revealed on ego organization and i don't know if i want to keep doing that honestly it's it, it kind of felt very redundant because it was like <laughs> okay so i'm gonna make this video about a card that just got revealed and you know 20 other people are gonna make the exact same video you know what I'm saying? Like, I talked about this in one of my other update videos that, you know, only like 10 people watched, but still. Um, it's like, I feel like I'm making the exact same video. Like, I'm barely saying, like, I'm probably only going to say like one or two things that someone else hasn't said before. And so it, it just feels really redundant to me to keep on doing that. I only did that then because A, they were quick to do and quick to upload because I could just do it straight from my phone, just record uh, the screen and just talk straight into my phone for like two or three minutes. Uh, upload it in like two or three minutes and then that's it. I'm done. I don't have to make a thumbnail. I don't have to do anything fancy. Just that's it. Quick update. You know what I'm saying? And I could do them at work. You know what I'm saying? Like I could just walk out for like a minute or two and then just be like, just, just do the video or even on my lunch break, just do a video and then upload it and then just go straight back. You know what I'm saying? So it was real quick, real easy. And sometimes it did kind of well. Other times they were just okay. You know, like it's just me explaining that this card exists and my thoughts on it. And, um, yeah, again, I, I do want to do more, like, formal videos with me just talking um, and, like, you guys just seeing the picture of the card. I, I, I do, like, I mainly did it because of Six Samurai, uh, the Six Samurai support that was shown. And then, like, from there, I kind of just ended up doing, like, a lot more of, like, diversified cards. Because it, it, it was just, it, it was just easy to do. So, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it again, but, you know, still. Um, I did kind of, I do kind of feel like uh, it's a bit redundant. 
So yeah, now let's get to how I feel about link format. So as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I did spend the week uh, testing. So as I was like, I was still playing Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit, but uh, since Yu-Gi-Oh Pro finally updated into uh, Link Era Rules Master Rule Four, um, or the version of Yu-Gi-Oh Pro I use anyway, I know some people had it beforehand, but the version I used didn't update until Friday, and then uh, the deck editor was a bit glitchy, and then they made another patch to fix that on like Monday or Tuesday, and then from there it was like, okay. But, uh, and then, you know, I was able to make all the decks and even use some that I already made. And so you'll definitely see what I'm talking about in the future. But, uh, yeah. Um, she, <laughs> I said she. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! has been uh, pre pretty fun, honestly, uh, in Link format. Because it's been, like, different. Like, all of a sudden, I'm seeing more of these old decks that people have just put on a back burden or just forgotten about in general, like being used a lot more. Uh, like Sylvan's for one, like I, I didn't expect that to be a deck that would just gain popularity, even even if like a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, because it's like a deck that I never really considered to like be good after a certain point. Like that was back in Link's Exelor, it got revealed, a few months it was played. And then people just dropped it and forgot about it, you know, like <laughs> when uh, around the time of uh, Arc 5 came in and Pendulums came in, like Sylvans were just forgotten about. So I think it was just fun to see those again. And then a few other decks here and there and a few decks that I have tried as well. Um, but yeah, that's the thing about Link Format that, or Link Era or Master of 4 that I've liked about uh, these new rules with the extra deck monster zone is that uh, not only has it gotten like a new mechanic in but it's kind of forced people to um like like they, they started thinking more on their own about how they can help their own decks and it's kind of been uh pretty it, it's, it's, it's been pretty uh pretty fun because, you know, to see more innovation and more creativity in the game is definitely always a plus. And so uh, I, I do think uh, Link Format in that regard has been pretty amazing. And um, I definitely do enjoy, like, I've enjoyed playing Yu-Gi-Oh! more, like, more right now than I ever had in, like, a while. And not saying that I play Yu-Gi-Oh! like, competitively or, like, because I'm someone who... Like, although I am, like, invested into Yu-Gi-Oh!, I'm not, like, invested to a point where I'm uh, competitive. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like I enjoy playing the game, but it's like I don't invest in it in real life enough to feel a need to constantly cover competitive stuff. And although, as much as it hurts to say it, like, I don't really have a competitive channel. Like most of my stuff is like more of like casual decks and casual topics and not really stuff that you would really need if you are a competitive player because if you are a competitive player, you already have all the resources that, uh, like you already have access to all those resources and I feel like um, my channel doesn't really supply that. Uh, maybe in the future I might shift more towards the competitive side, but for right now I feel no need. I, I, I do understand that, you know, there are people who strictly play Yu-Gi-Oh for the competitive side and there are some people who would be you know disappointed at my content but it's like I, like if I'm a casual player myself I'm not gonna uh, make competitive content if you know I don't have you know the proper experience to to back it you know what I'm saying so yeah so from a casual competitive players well I, I say casual and competitive because i do feel like i have an understanding of the competitive scene and if i wanted to and if i had the money to invest into it i would be a competitive player if i wanted to be because i understand how the uh competitive side of the game works i understand uh some things that maybe not a lot of beginners can probably understand i understand certain rulings and so not to brag but i'm just saying you know i'm saying like i know what it's like to be a competitive player but you know it's not for me at the moment so being a casual competitive player i just like to see the game from a more casual standpoint but that's just me 
And uh, yeah, so that's why I feel like I like link format so much. It's probably because I'm not the biggest competitive player. And on the competitive side, the only real complaint I have is that Zoo and True Draco are still around, is that we got these new rules without a ban list. And so I, I feel like with Pendulums, it wasn't as necessary because, you know, although it was adding a new mechanic, nobody used Pendulums for like <laughs> a few months, maybe until... Um, until Cleese came out, which is which wasn't until uh, the new Challengers, which was November of that year. So, of 2014 is when uh, Pendulums got revealed and released. That was probably like July or June, where the starter deck came out, and nobody actually used Pendulums until like November. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like there's this real big gap where Pendulums were just something for the casual side only. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like with Lynx, it's kind of is not going to be that same thing. It's like we're going to see Lynx here and there because Zoo still has a lot of potential with Link format. True Draco doesn't, but there are still a lot of decks that have the potential simply because of their speed and how much they can do. And so there's a lot of decks that uh, in Link format are going to have more of a chance to compete, but it's still not to a point where I feel like they top over Zoo or True Draco. At the moment, so I'm saying, so you know, my only complaint is that we should have gotten a ban list because uh, it would have balanced out the game to a point where the meta actually would have felt fresh instead of feeling like you know it's just a continuation of what we already had. I feel like with these new rules, they should have uh, also implemented a new ban list just to make sure that the whole game feels like it was getting. Um, something new or feel like it was getting changed uh, versus only the casual side of the game feeling like it was changed and you know the competitive side is going to change a little bit too but it's like it's not to a point where i feel like it's going to be too much different you know what i'm saying i hope you do <laughs> i say like it's just a habit of mine to say you know what i'm saying after like a sentence where i or i, I feel like i've put out a complete thought is it's just a habit it's it's not uh, like it's not to make you f feel forced like it's not asking you a question it's, it's a bit r rhetoric and definitely a bit redundant but uh you know hopefully i can break the habit so um yeah that's that's really how i feel about link format so far uh play testing play testing has been fun it's definitely been challenging because um like, I was thinking about this. It's like no individual deck made before Code of the Duelist was made, was designed with Link Format in mind. So there are going to be a lot of decks, like maybe Cardians and Burning Abyss, where it's like they struggle when they can't, when they try to use cards outside of their archetype. Well, Burning Abyss, not as much, because Burning Abyss, you can like make a Dante and then go into the other stuff, but Cardians. It's like with the link format, with the new link zone, uh, I mean, like so extra monster zone, it kind of forces us to only want to limit ourselves to only one synchro. And uh, although there are still combos to get around that, it, like using D synchro and uh, some of the new flower cardian cards, and then special summoning the synchro that you used um, in your main monster zone so that now your extra monster zone is open, and then you have a synchro on your field still. That is one way. Uh, to use cardings with the new rules but it's like a lot of the time is they limit themselves to summoning flower cardians only you know there's a lot of there's quite a few decks that do that where you can only summon cards inside of their archetype the same thing with super heavy samurai monsters it's like once you get past a certain point in your combos you can only summon super heavy samurai monsters and because of that it hinders their potential in link format and i feel like those decks need something new it's nice that they gave Spirals and Subterrors, which were originally TCG exclusive decks, uh, Link Monsters this early, especially since, uh, as I discussed before, I, spelt, I felt that Spiral was a deck that kind of needed, or that was kind of designed with Link format beforehand. Um, I just contradicted my own statement. <laughs> I, uh, Spirals was the one exception. Spiral, uh, I did say in an earlier video that I did think Spiral was like the one deck that was designed for Link format. And uh, I, I do still hold true to that statement because now seeing 
uh, what Spyros can do in link format with, with their new link monster. It's only a link two, and its arrows are perfect for um, like being both in the extra monster zone and the main monster zone. So I, I do feel like that is actually pretty nice. And um, yeah, um, that's it is is like since not a lot of decks were made for link format it's going to be hard for the game to transition into link format smoothly and for link monsters to be included in a lot of strategies is is what i was going to say because again you know not like literally no decks were designed for link format in mind other than what i feel is spirals and uh you can tell that the the that some of the tcg like like when konami um, like during like during the national stream, right? And uh, Jer Jerome McHale, who's pretty much like the R and D specialist for on Konami side, or I don't, I don't even know what that means honestly. But he's like the one of the faces of Konami you think of because he's like the most one of the most interactive on uh, Yu Gi Oh's uh, or the TCG Konami social media. And um, oh, pertaining to Yu Gi Oh, you know what I'm saying. And so during nationals, he was talking about how he was able to play test the cards before their effects got changed. Now you have to realize is that the cards in Japan um, get you know probably designed and printed and all that like way before they're actually released. And to know and for him to know uh, the exactly how the cards were changed and to have play tested them before and after they had their effects changed probably means that he has some special super secret access to cards before um, they are you know obviously um, a long time like I'm, I'm not just saying like a month or two like but like maybe like a year before they actually get released and so I feel like he probably knew, like, I feel like the English side of Konami probably knew about Link Monsters beforehand when making Spirals. So in the middle of making Spiral Monster support, uh, before Link Monsters were shown, um, they probably uh, designed some of the Spiral cards to work well with Link Format. That's just a crazy theory of mine. It, it might be wrong, but it's like, it, it's kind of what I feel is true. Um... But yeah, other than that, uh, I feel like <laughs> Link Format, I mean, I, I, I keep calling it Link Format uh, with like the intent not to call it Link Format because it's like, I know some people still get triggered by it, even, even with that other video I did with Gordon Ramsay, but it's like, it, it's like it, Link Format uh, still is something I, I do feel is pretty, is, is a nice refresher for the game. It's, it's not developed yet, and there aren't too many decks that can really use the mechanic of links um, properly. You know what I'm saying? Like, not properly, but, like, can't really uh, abuse it to a point where I feel that it's good. Or it's, like, applicable in, like, a lot of situations. It's, it's something real niche right now, and it's going to continue like that until we get a better archetype that can actually use the mechanic. So that's that's all I'm gonna have to that's all I have to say for now. I know this video was probably a bit messy. I, I usually always do my videos unscripted. I, I never want to do a scripted video because those are so like I don't actually want to write this stuff down. It's like it, it it's just more work on my end just to make a video that's slightly higher quality and to me, I, I like I, I feel like maybe when I get more subs and I feel like I have to push out more polished content that would make more sense to script my videos but for now it's like it is it's a little point i only get like 20 30 views a video so it's like i i see i see a little point to actually put that much effort into making quality content you know what i'm saying like i'm not saying that i want to make low quality like the lowest possible quality ever but it's like i like that amount of effort requires some sort of compensation and I'm not at that level yet. But, you know, again, I did reach 200 subs. I don't think anything is gonna change uh, significantly since I hit 200, but um, yeah, it's, it's just a nice milestone. Uh, just expect more videos soon. This was Nistro here. Nistro out.